Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Angry Mac Adventures. Today we're showing you how I prepare sashimi. We went out today, me and the old man, and uh, we caught a few nice break sheet cod, which is also known as black ass snapper. Uh, I'll roll on some highlights now for you, and I'll see you back in the kitchen. And here's Nick on his first fish for the day. That's all right, hopefully it's a baldy or a little dewy or something. Black ass snapper, that's all right. Nick's on. Don't know what it is. Come on, nice little pinky. Oi. Oh, look at that. Nice female bald. <laughs> Old man's on to something big. Oh, oh, oh. That was a big fish. <laughs> that was a big fish, son. All right, so this is the break sheet cod that we're gonna be using today, and I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare my fish. So there's heaps of ways of filleting fish, but I find this the most easiest way, starting from the back of the head and working your way down. The next step is to take the skin off. Position the knife downwards towards the skin and almost just peel the skin off the flesh. So what we're doing here is just getting rid of any excess skin or bloodlines so it doesn't affect the end result. So the hard work's done, now it's time to cut up the fish, so I'll bring you in close. So what we're doing here is just getting rid of the pin bones that run down the center of the fish. We simply just cut this out with a sharp knife and discard it. Now when cutting the fish up, you want them about a quarter inch thin because if they're too thick, they'll become chewy and you won't get that beautiful texture. Now, the last couple of steps, plating up and making the sauce. Remember, presentation is key. Last step is making the sauce. So you want some soy sauce, wasabi, and a little bit of lemon, that's all you want. So, just a little dab of wasabi. About a centimetre long, a little bit more, if you're into your spice, or if you like the flavour. You want a squirt of lemon. And with that lemon and wasabi, you just want to Mix that in. So 
So once those two are mixed, last ingredient is soy sauce. You want to double that with your soy sauce and you can always chop and change depending on how you like your sauce flavoring. And that there is done and dusted. Well, that's pretty much it. So we've got our sauce, our lemon, and our beautiful break she cod. That is how I love my sashimi. I hope you guys try it out one day. It's absolutely beautiful, absolutely to die for. Um, if you guys have any other sort of sauce or any other styles of sashimi, put them in the comments. I'd love to read them. Anyways, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.